as long as Tesla earnings are okay, they don't even have to be great. But as long as we don't see a two to three percent declining day in the markets tomorrow, it looks like a breakout by this Friday is probably more likely than not. And it could put us up a decent amount from where we currently sit. And that is what we are going to discuss here in this very short, sweet, straight to the point video hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you guys like these shorter videos that is the best signal sig signal signal to let me know to make more of these shorter videos thank you guys for tuning in if you want to come trade with me live in real time link down below in the description of this video we have been hitting some massive trades two three hundred percent winning trades on disney as well as fubo and on snapchat just from yesterday through today that over thousand dollar net profit would have paid for your cost to be in that trading program for over two years so definitely check that out if you guys have not already done so but let's dive into first and foremost what is happening on a technical basis because we have been experiencing a very bullish last couple of weeks and what has been happening if you guys pay attention we have not seen an actual volume spike so what this is is really the accumulation phase this is not a fomo phase this is not a gamma squeeze phase this is nothing besides an accumulation phase it looks like some people took what adam aaron said on this thursday back here where amc stock rallied 15 percent adam aaron coming out and saying that they are going to expose the shorts they're going to reward shareholders around earnings on august 4th a lot of people have took that and ran with it that is why we have seen pretty much nothing but bullishness for an example on that thursday we broke out above the 58 day moving average broke to about 15 dollars per share got rejected got rejected the next two days after that and then we gapped up above 15 went up to the 100 day moving average and obviously held support at 15 over the next four trading days unable to break out above the 100 day moving average and then what happened back here just on july 18th well we gapped up above the 100 day moving average usually when you are just tearing through resistance levels and holding support at your previous resistance it really takes something bad to derail the rally or at the very least it takes a pop off event usually when you see a momentum stock a quote-unquote meme stock that starts to show this bullishness you see a pop-off event or something bad happen now august 4th is about two two and a half trading weeks away until we get amc earnings so there's a lot of potential room here and a lot of time to see this rally come to light and what we actually seen yesterday was amc stock did peak out at 17 dollars 82 cents per share today we are up 5.65 percent on a relatively weak day in the markets and amc is sitting at 17 dollars 29 cents per share if we can break out past this previous high that we seen yesterday possibly even in after hours if tesla has good earnings well that could give us room to go to the next previous the next well it was a previous level of support and resistance but the 20 dollar price that is your next level of resistance as you can see it's a gap we have a gap to fill up to 20 dollars per share the worst case scenario you come back down to the 100 day moving average at 15 dollars 59 cents per share if we do have a two to three percent uh, negative day tomorrow which tesla would really have to miss earnings to get a market reaction in that kind of way but other than that if earnings are good 20 dollars per share that's going to be the level of resistance it wouldn't surprise me to find resistance around 20 dollars per share by friday or even as high as the 200 day moving average think to the 15 dollar price psychological resistance as well as these moving averages that's where you're you're going to see the most clear cut and dry levels of resistance and support the levels in between really don't matter in my personal opinion so i do think 18 to 20 dollars per share is what i'm targeting by friday that was the price target and that's what i am going to stick with now the macd looks bullish and it's been bullish for a while but it's not really signaling a lot of buy orders that are coming through it's more signaling accumulation as the macd has just been slightly bullish over the last couple of months but more so bullish over the last couple couple of weeks so i think that's a solid sign right there and the rsi is at 68.47 showing a lot of relative strength and that doesn't necessarily mean amc stock has to come right back down but when you get a pop-off event and the you know stock goes up 20 30 40 50 percent in a single day 
Well, one, you'd go up to very high levels because uh, we're at $17.30 right now. So 30, 40, 50% would be substantial to actual price action of AMC. But then you would expect to get the RSI to shoot past 70 and that's where you could get a little bit more downside pressure. But really right now, we need to see a volume spike that comes in. If we start to see a volume spike, that's where AMC could go a little bit crazy because like I said in the last couple of minutes the volume has been very low so it's accumulation it's not FOMO it's not gamma it's none of those things now if we take a look at the ortex data we could see for the day even on a relatively negative day in the markets ever since Google came out and said that they were stopping hiring for two weeks and slowing down hiring throughout the rest of this year well you have still seen 19 orders totaling 1.24 million dollars and a positive order value of 83 percent so it has been very positive in that regard the short interest is continuing to climb today now sitting at eighteen dollars fifth or uh, eighteen dollars 18.52%. The dollar amount of shares that are currently sold short is worth $1.56 billion. Free flow out on loan, 26.88%. Shares out on loan, 138.58 million. Days to cover, 3.34. Cost to borrow, 10.27%. And 100% share utilization. Cost to borrow max at 13.06%. Cost to borrow average of 12.51%. Cost to borrow minimum of 9.87%. All of these numbers being at about 10%, if not higher, is really starting to hurt the hedge funds. And let me just call this out before we do go ahead and wrap up this video here in the next couple of minutes this kind of movement in amc stock going from nine dollars to seventeen dollars from the low at nine dollars seventy cents per share all the way up to what we just seen yesterday almost eighteen dollars per share is institutional activity institutional option activity as well as institutional buying activity now there is the scenario here you got to keep in mind that we potentially go through a pop-off event 20 30 40 50 percent day by august 4th and then depending on what that news is we could continue on from there or then uh, start to see one of those buy the rumor, sell the news kind of events. But we have a lot of time between here and there. And really, as long as we don't get those 2 to 3% down days, I think the markets will be okay. You are also seeing the percent rate hike. 1% here today, which is a lot better than what we have seen even yesterday at 35%. So that does look good. We are in a blackout period until the Fed raises rates next Wednesday, July 27th. And depending on what the Fed says, July 27th, if they give us any indication of slowing down raising rates, either, you know, in September or in the next meeting after that, which will be November 2nd, that's going to be a very, very bullish thing throughout the rest of this year because markets are forward looking. Now, a quick look look at the in inverted yield curve we are currently inverted 21 basis points you have to go back all the way to 1987 or 89 actually to get a yield curve that was inverted more than 21 basis points even during the 2000s the yield curve only inverted slightly uh, it, it it wasn't that much of the yield curve was actually inverted and right now we are substantially under where we were at during the 2000s which is quite a scary thing right now we really just need to see investors buying the short end curve of the bonds because right now investors are selling the two-year bonds driving the two two-year yield up and they are buying the 10-year yields driving the 10-year yield down it's like a dividend stock when people buy up a dividend stock well what happens the price of that stock goes up the yield goes down what happens when people sell a dividend stock well the price of that stock goes down but the yield goes up investors selling the two-year bonds buying the 10-year bonds that's why you get the yield curve inversion signaling a fed policy error and really the yield curve staying inverted this long might start to force the fed's hand just a little bit and we will see by next week all of this could add to a pretty big rally for amc stock it looks like we're going to close out the trading day somewhere in the range of five to seven percent positive so that is going to be all for this video short sweet straight to the point just like you guys like it i hope you guys like it hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you guys want to come trade with me live in real time link down below in the description as well not a recommendation but i did go with a tesla next week july 29th 600 dollars put for 300 dollars fully prepared to lose 50% or 100% of that money or potentially if Tesla drops 25%, that contract would make $5,000. So uh, on a risk to reward, it looks good. And I'm pretty concerned about Tesla earnings, but Tesla usually has a way to make things look a lot better than what they actually are. Demand destruction, we'll see if that comes into play during this earnings report. So that is it. Thank you guys. Enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you in the next one.